Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Dauntless video. It's Talis Mustache here and today I'm going to show you guys the Berserker of Dawn build. So basically this build right here is 100% focused in DPS and for this build right here you don't have to use Iceborne. Even at full health you're going to have all of your perks active throughout the whole fight even if you get hit because we're not using Predator. So without further talking let's jump straight into the build. So for the weapon we actually have two different choices, the first one is Fangs of Dawn which comes with plus 3 cunning and its unique effect is 10% chance for attacks to hit twice. Now for the mods we're using the Reaper's Dance and the Serrated Blade which I believe are the two best mods in terms of TPS for the chain blades, but just use whatever mods that suits your playstyle, it's not that important. Now for the cells we're using plus 3 cunning and plus 3 overpower. Now for the second weapon of choice you can use the Spire of Dawn which is the Rezakiri Warpike and in this case you're gonna use the exact same slots and for the most just use whatever suits your playstyle. Now for the helmet we're using the Light's Crown which comes with plus 3 conduit and for the cell we're using plus 3 Berserker. Now for the chest piece we're using the Hellblade Cuirass which comes with plus 3 Molten and for the cell we're using plus 3 Molten as well. Now for the gloves we're using the Light's Refuge which comes with plus 3 conduit and for the cell we're using plus 3 Berserker. And for the legs we're using the Dance of the Swarm which comes in plus 3 conditioning and for the cell we're using plus 3 overpower. And last but not least for the lantern we're using the Dressed Eye which has an instant effect that increases our damage by 30% for 6 seconds and for the cell we're using plus 3 Etheric Tournament. So now let's move into the perk summary. So here we have plus 6 Berserker which decreases your max health by 300 points but after dealing damage you gain 3.5% increase in damage for 3 seconds and stacking 10 times for a maximum of 35% increase in damage. Plus 6 Conduit that increases your attack speed by 25% for 8 seconds right after using the Lantern Hold ability. Plus 6 Cunning that increases your critical strike chance by 10% and your critical strike damage by 30%. Plus 6 Molten that whenever you deal damage it generates 3 Molten Hearts on a 16 second cooldown, granting immunity to burning and increasing your attack and movement speed by 20%. Plus 6 Overpower that increases your damage by 70% versus Staggered Behemoths. Plus 3 Aetheric Tournament that gives you a 20% increase at Lantern Charge from attacks and plus 3 condition that gives you plus 15 stamina regeneration. So that's pretty much it for the build guys, now I'm gonna show you guys a small demonstration so you can see how powerful this build is in an actual fight. So thank you for watching guys and now check this out! So that's pretty much it guys, if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe for more Dauntless videos like that, so thank you for watching guys and until the next episode, see you!